February 12th, the seven holy founders. The seven holy founders were those men of God who founded the order of the servants of Mary, known as Servites, following the apparition of the weeping Blessed Virgin on August 15th and September 8th of the year 1233. According to a reliable Servite tradition, it was Our Lady who inspired the order's name as well as its rule and habit. The earliest document about these saints, compiled in 1317, most likely by the then prior general, Peter of Todai, he had joined the Servite some time before May 1295, and had known Brother Alexis Falconeri, the best known of the seven and the last one to die at nearly 110 years old. He was the uncle of St. Juliana Falconeri, founder of the female branch. The seven founders of the Servite order were all Florentine businessmen. Previously, they had belonged to a city confraternity in honor of the Virgin Mary, and their deep faith was fortified by penance. A vision of the Virgin of Sorrows, whose cult they would later spread, led them to abandon everything except what was necessary for their families and distribute the rest to the poor and to the churches. After a period of preparation spent in their own homes, involving mortifications, modest meals, prayers, and robes in a gray tunic, the seven began life as a community in a small house just outside the walls of Florence. From then on, they were known as Servant Friars of the Blessed Virgin Mary, a name which was divinely inspired by the Heavenly Mother. In the words of St. Alexis Falconeri, I've never been able to know, neither by myself nor from others, that this name was given for the first time by someone. Therefore, only Our Lady gave it to our order, and this fact, as a memory, was believed and confirmed also by my fellow brethren. The other founders were called Bonfilius, apparently their leader, John Bonajuncta, Bartholomew Amidi, Benedict del Antella, Recoverus, Ugachoni and Gerard Sostegni. Attracted by the holiness of their lives, many people visited the seven, who, continually impeded in their yearning for contemplation, eventually retired to Monte Sereno, where they founded a convent, and where in the 15th century a sanctuary was dedicated to the Mother of Sorrows. Over the years, the seven would welcome new companions who wished to live in humility, prayer, and penance. This led to other convents being founded in different cities. Among the people who followed their example, there was the Florentine saint Philip Benizi. He was born the same year the order was founded, who entered the Servites in 1254, becoming one of the brightest examples of holiness, the lamp prepared by God, as legend has it. Meanwhile, in 1244, the founders met the Dominican Peter of Verona, the future saint and martyr sent by the Pope to Florence to combat heresy. Peter, whose preaching they admired, became their spiritual father. He fervently asked the Virgin that he might discern whether the order was really within God's plan, and that in that case, which habit and rule should be adopted. The seven added their fast to his prayers, and Mary appeared to Peter in a vision. She confirmed that the birth of the order had been granted to her by her son, and that the friars were to follow the rule of St. Augustine and dress a habit that would be a clear indication of what she suffered in the bitter passion of her son.